everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray. I only woke up 20 minutes ago, and welcome back to the Jedi Knight episode. Let's move on, shall we? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very tired. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, and I thought, oh, it's Friday. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, it's Friday. I probably should go and do the uh, Jedi Knight episode and then have a grand doing while I'm at work and then yeah blah de blah de blah 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 I'll wake up in a minute uh, and he's got a tython because Tol Braga wants to speak to me but I'll wait for the uh, the the hyperspace thing to go and we'll talk to our companions we'll talk to we'll, we'll talk to Kira we'll we'll we'll, we'll talk to um, Rusk um, We'll talk to we'll talk to yeah we'll talk to Doc, and we'll talk to you yeah yeah so we'll start with running out of breath, Kira. You're not like most Jedi. That's a compliment. No offense to the Council, but if I stood around moralizing all day, I'd need a padded zero G cell. Let the Masters have their long, boring meetings. Keeps them from bothering us. Master Satil would be crushed. You're her favorite. Really? All I'm saying is, using the Force can be fun. The Order needs to lighten up. Being a Jedi is more than just rules and responsibilities. Someday I'll put a shock buzzer in Master Satil's chair just to liven things up. You better have my back. Well, of course. Any carnage is good carnage. I'd definitely be up for that. Let's go to Rusk. Master Jedi, the defeat of the Sith Empire is easily the most ambitious mission I've ever been given. In fact, the odds of surviving a battle against the Emperor himself are almost zero. I'm looking forward to this more than any other assignment I have ever had. Wow, you would definitely kill yourself if you needed to, wouldn't you? Oh, no. That's... Unexpected? Why, exactly? I've been waiting my whole life for a chance to deliver a decisive victory to the Republic. If I may say so, the Jedi Order's discipline, self-sacrifice, and devotion to duty are a model for all citizens. It will be an honor to serve with you. Thanks, I, I guess. At least I'm getting experience for all of this. Woo! Let's now speak to... Oh, we'll go to T7 and then we'll go to Doc. Stop exploding! T7 excited to leave Tython. <laughs> wow, have I not spoken to you all this time? I didn't realize you were so eager to leave the Jedi Academy. Tython, many Jedi. Tython, well protected. <laughs> Galaxy, dangerous pace. Galaxy needs Jedi and T7. T7, many skills. T7, eager to help. Don't worry, T7. We'll find plenty of ways for you to help out. Jedi and T7 start as soon as possible. Jedi and T7 save the galaxy! Oh, He thinks he's going to save the galaxy all by himself. That's never gonna happen. So far, so good. And yeah, now that we're a team, I figure it's only a matter of time before the whole galaxy gets saved. Not too early for vacation planning, Gorgeous. Old Doc's ready to whisk you away someplace special when this war's over. And what will we do on this getaway? What won't we do? Working too hard is bad for you. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Don't make me confine you to bed rest, beautiful. Uh -huh. Unless you want me to. Not if you were the last living thing in the whole galaxy. No, don't want that. Hold on, changing so it. Far, no. Yep, yep. What? La, la, la. Hey, this isn't an end of line. I can change it. I trust your instincts. I'll do whatever's necessary to protect my health. I like that in a patient. I recommend routine uh, physical checkups. In fact, you should stop by the med bay at least once a day. I'll clear my schedule. <laughs> Doc is starting to like me, even though he hated me on Balmora. Um, was Balmora met him? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Balmora. Anyway, we are now going to head down to Tython to speak to the Jedi Council, and then when we come back, we'll go and talk to them a bit more. Whoa! What? What? Excuse me! Excuse? Excuse me! 
Thank you. No, what, what? What on earth happened there? It kept wanting to move. I couldn't press S to stop it from automatically going. That was very weird. A weird question as well. I've got a drink of Ribena here because I need something to drink in life. Whenever you take a sip, if you, if any of you guys ever have Ribena, whenever you take a sip, does it ever taste like tea once you've swallowed the Ribena? Or is it just me? Eh, random thought. Ooh, what's going on over here? Wow. Cool. I always hated this hangar. It's so empty. Literally so empty. Yeah, sure. There's some troopers and whatnot. And some Jedi, but... Compared to other hangars, it's so empty. There's nothing in here. Council, I'm here as you asked. Two weeks late, but hey. Welcome back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's Fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better. We understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. It seems almost impossible our plans came together this fast. You're with the best strike team in the galaxy. For us, nothing is impossible. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Droman Kaas. Long-range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. Where's the we'll box? pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. Where's the box? We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon, and redeem him to the light side of the Force. A perfect victory. Capturing the Emperor will be hard enough. Turning him into an ally... Is it even possible? I convinced a member of the Dark Council. The Emperor will be no different. Uh, He's just another Sith. He's a stronger Defeating Sith. Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised... concerns. Now that I've heard the plan, I have my own objections. You have a gift for irony. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar, we discussed this. You should be in the Kolto Baths. You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during my healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. She was falling to the dark side. Becoming a Sith. Well, I'm falling to the dark side, sure. Um, I'd like to hear more of this. Tell us exactly what you saw happening. It might help me avoid such a terrible outcome. Sarcasm! You stood on the red sands of Korriban, the center of Sith power. Your eyes were burning coals. I saw you torturing your own crew. They screamed for mercy, but your heart was cold. Alien. Sith. Racist. The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on vision? Yeah, what are you, Voss? If you take her on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. Ah. Uh... You're angry over being left behind. You want to replace me. I want to save this galaxy! We all do. But that hope must never descend into passion. I fear that yours has. I've known this Jedi since she was Master Orgus's Padawan. She has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt her loyalty. You should. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. Maybe it would be better if someone else went in my place, just to be safe. Oh, stop You're crapping. to our mission success. I will not leave you behind. No, this is wrong. I know what I saw. Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. 
We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the force be with us. Because she looks such a bullcrapper. She keeps changing her story. Oh, you just want to get rid of me. Oh, maybe somebody should go instead. Uh, ooh, travel to the Empress Fortress. Scrap the companion stuff. We're doing this. Where is the Emperor's Fortress? Ah, in the seat of the Empire. Why is it the seat of the Empire? Oh, Zyost. You haven't fought. Ooh, my throat. <coughs> ah. That happens a lot. Oricon. Uh, I guess it could be considered the seat of the Empire. The Emperor's private fortress is a millennium old construct orbiting the Imperial capital planet of German Cass. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure German Cass is, uh. Where is it? Where's German Cass? Oh, okay, I can't see German Cass. That's why. Right. Fine. Fair enough. I was going to say, I can't see German Cass on the map because I'm a Republican. Of course, I can't see German Cass on the map, you idiot, Charlie. Right. Use my ship's holo terminal. Wow, that planet is going around so fast. If anybody's on there, they're not surviving. I've docked inside the Emperor's Fortress. No sign of opposition. I'm in as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. Uh, I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Should I bring everyone aboard my ship? This is no place for the unprepared. Bring only your strongest ally. Doc! I'll see you in the throne room. May the force protect us all. Master Bugger, out. I mean, he's not my... Feel him. Oh. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. He's just quiet. Still. All he feels is... cold rage. The Sith believe hatred makes them strong, but that's a lie. It's a weakness. We don't understand what he is. What he can do. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. Uh Ooh, should I actually take Kira with me? Hmm... Kishila's not dumb. She's not dumb. You'll be safe on the ship. I'll take one of the others. This isn't about me. We're all at risk. The docking base sealed shut behind us. Retreat is not an option. I'll go with you. Emperor unable to influence T7 circuits. Jedi T7 perfect team. Maybe I should stay and look after Kira. Poor kid. Look at her shaking. Uh, I need you for this, Doc. T7 and Sergeant Rusk will watch Kira. Come on, Doc. There's no place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. Further delay, mission failure. Time to act now. Anyway. No, 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 no. No place I'd rather be. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a weird song. Anyway, let's find the Emperor's Throne Room. Eerily quiet. I don't mean any sounds of the engines. Oh, well now there's some sound, but for Kashilla, she can't hear the music, so it's still eerily quiet. Um, I love how there's like a medical droid, you know, Stand by for, for me. Even though this is like the Emperor's base, so I highly doubt a Republican would be able to use this. But hey, each our own. Use one of those. And uh, let's use one of those. We need to use those up. Let's save the major ones for later. Wow. This is a big area. Where do I need to go? This way. Okay. Well, that is a massive hangar. Uh oh. Hi. See, now, although we've kept. Uh... What's her face? I forget. Kira. Um, yeah, Kira. I forgot her name then. See, although we kept Kira back on the ship, something tells me she's still going to be influenced by the Emperor. Hmm. 
We'll have to see. Dies at the depth. Should I do the bonus mission? Uh, I'm probably gonna have to, aren't I? Although, I don't... could I just go down? No. I'm gonna say I probably can't go. No, because the door's gonna be locked. So I'm most likely gonna have to do the bonus mission because there's gonna be everybody in my way. Stop pushing me back! You keep doing that. Also, I like that ability. You use it. It's like little tiny lights going inside the Imperial Guard. Ripping him apart from the inside. Ha ha ha. What am I, Sith? Eh, uh, I can't be bothered to kill you. I'll kill everything else. Or could or do I? Why are you on the edge of the... I say, why are you on the edge of the... Uh... Wow, that's a long drop down. And you've not fallen down. You're just uh, floating. Wow, okay. 17 out of 20. We're almost there. And I was going to say, is that one like... Uh, it's a hazardous tank. Not an explosive one. I was preferring an explosive one. Oh, so is it me? Or does this look like the False Emperor space station? Huh. What are they? Maybe they just all look the same. Ha 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 ha! You are going to attack, 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 attack. Yeah, that's the word I'd look for. Attack me, but unfortunately, no. Yay, done. See, the annoying thing about this series is that it's not a dark versus light series. So, I'm really just doing this for the playthrough. I'm not doing this for any objectives in a dark versus light series. Uh, the dark versus light event, I should say. Which is kind of annoying, really. Uh, so it means I'd have to do the story again. Oh, actually, no, I just need to get to level 50, don't I? Yeah, maybe I'll just get a Jedi Knight and just do a bunch of heroics for the rest of eternity. Hello! Excuse me, I'm just gonna try and squeeze by? Thank you! Oh, howdy. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Doc! Get back here! Doc! You, boss. Thank you. Oh, they were like, huh? Where you go? Come on. Come over here so that I don't have to attack them. Are you there yet? Yeah, thanks. Ah, Lord Scourge. Oh, my throat. Hello, Emperor's Wrath. We meet again. You violate the Emperor's Sanctum. There is only one punishment. Oh, the Emperor's Wrath. You left empty-handed on Quesh. Prepare for another disappointment. Your friends did not survive. You fight alone. Maybe you didn't see me. Right here. Name's Doc. By my master's command, you must die. <laughs> my name is Montia Montoga. I don't know the actual name. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I don't know. I can't remember the exact the exact name. Uh, so they could tell me how it's pronounced or how it's said or how it's spelled. Then feel free. And you're dead. That was easy. You are the Jedi's finest. It is not enough to save you. Tough talk from someone who's losing this fight. Be careful. Arrogance is a weakness freely exploited. Surrender, Sith. You and your master cannot stand against all of us. Stay back. The Emperor and his wrath are all mine. Remember our purpose. The Emperor is within our reach. Misdirected passion. Such a waste. Hi. My friends and I wish to speak with you. Please accompany us to Tython. An infantile display, Tol Braga. Reckless pride, limbed by self-righteousness. You are master of nothing. I don't remember introducing ourselves. You have no secrets from me. You stand there because I allow it. Because I do not fear. It is pointless. Yeah, looks like it. You are mine, servants, slaves. 
thieves weapons, and you will obey. Uh oh. Hi. You kind of just slice the table, by the way. You're turning me to the dark side, but I'm already dark side. Surely you should be giving me a red lightsaber, but oh well. Let me keep the blue. Cool, my Sith now. I saw you. Okay, speak to Lord Scourge is done. Uh, he used the door. Cool. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Why are you attacking me? Okay. Thanks. I don't know why you were attacking me, but okay, thank you. So now, what would have happened if Kira was with me? If that was even possible. I don't know if it's possible or not. Like, you know, would she be currently with the Emperor, Dark Side, and whatnot? Hmm, I don't know. Use the door. Can't do that while moving. Ugh. Don't let him win. Free yourself. You're stronger than his influence. Fight. Surely the Emperor can see you, Din. Master Orcus, what happened? The Emperor clouded your mind in darkness. Made you do terrible things. You've been the Emperor's pawn a long time. But you're finally free. I've been under his control for days, weeks. Time has less meaning for me than you. Long enough. You're still aboard the Emperor's Fortress. The enemy is everywhere, but they think you serve them. Keep your true nature secret. Find a way out. Your dark ally will help. Dark ally? I have a friend here? Can't wait to meet him. Or her. The Force is with you again. Be strong. Stop muttering to yourself, Acolyte. Today we test your ability to extract information from the enemy. Knowledge is power. Our enemies possess the secrets to their own annihilation. We must learn everything. I'm ready for my lesson. Please, instruct me. One of the scum you arrived with awaits interrogation. You'll conduct it while I watch. They'll give up what they know, or die. You aren't authorized for executions yet. Follow me. I'll instruct you in using the Tormentor device. I look forward to it. After you. Eh. I tried. Where am I going? Uh, oh, only over here. Oh, I'll go very far then. <laughs> oh! 
Uh oh. Let's begin. It's a simple device. Three inducement settings, each inflicting greater pain on the subject. The tormentor monitors the subject's vital signs, stopping just short of delivering lethal damage. Still quite agonizing, however. I know you're still in there. You're not one of them. If I beat him, you can too. Proceed with the lowest inducement setting. Get your subject focused. Uh... Bad news, Overseer. I don't work for the Emperor anymore. And neither do you. Cool. Dark side option should have been to inflict the pain. Ah. You're free. Are you alright? I am now. I knew you'd come back. This place is crawling with Sith who don't know you're back to normal. But you won't fool them forever. We need to leave. Quick. T7 and the others are still in the docking bay, locked in cages. We can free everyone and take back the ship. We aren't leaving until I kill every Sith on the station, especially the Emperor. Are you crazy? We barely survived the last fight. We need to get out of here. Okay. But I think... Should we do the next episode? Nah, we'll do it now. Oh, we've got a long way to go now. We've got to go all the way back. Well, allow me to just rocket boost. As long as no one's going to attack me. As long as the droids don't know I'm not really Sith. Uh, good. Oh, we're close to level 38 as well. Well, that's good. We should get it from doing this mission. Or by a few kills. If there's going to be a few kills uh, around. Speak to Lord Skur... Ooh. Ooh. Hi, Scourge. Step away from my ship. We're leaving. If I wished to fight, I would not have freed your crew. Or killed these guards. Sith telling truth. Sith freed us and secured hangar. More guards will come. Shall we go before they arrive? Free Master Tall Braga and my fellow Jedi, and I'll consider it. If they were here, I'd have liberated them as well. I could have killed you on Quesh had I wanted. Did you never wonder why I hesitated? Because you couldn't get to I me. I have waited over 300 years to see the face that came to me in a vision. Your face. How can that possibly be true? I am much older than you think. Only a few beings have ever broken the Emperor's domination. You and that girl are special. Kira and I have the power to destroy your master. Not yet. Not without my help. Though the Emperor seeks to conceal his true plans, I have seen them. That vision has driven me to this. I pledge my loyalty to you. Take me to your Jedi Council on Tython, and I'll reveal why. We're not actually considering this. I mean, he's obviously full of awful. Great choice I can't of words, that I'm Doc. saying this, but I'm with Doc. This is a trap. I seek to save this galaxy from annihilation. Without my help, your ship will never escape. I can guide you to freedom. If I'm taking you to the Jedi homeworld, you'll be under guard at all times. Don't try anything. Your flattery is pointless. I do not seek your people's deaths. Only their cooperation. Security won't be an issue. He twitches wrong, he's dead. <laughs> Time is a luxury we no longer possess. We must go now. I will navigate us through the defense grid. You do forget, Rusk. He is a bit of an old man. So he could kind of twitch just accidentally. So if he twitches, does that mean you're just going to kill him? Oh, Scourge, you better not live stream. Whee! I always love that. It's always so fun. I've just noticed. The music is slowed down. The Tython music is slowed down just like it does on Hoth. On Hoth, the music slows down dramatically. I think it's like some music from another planet, I believe. And they slow it down like by two times to give it that sort of icy and crystally kind of effect to it. And they kind of in the same with Typhon for some reason. So, Council, something interesting has occurred. It's been so long. We thought you were lost forever. The mission to seize the Emperor has failed. 
He's more powerful than we realized. Master Braga, Liha Nerez, and Warren Sidoru are still missing. The Emperor's wrath helped us escape. He betrayed his master to join our side. Sith serve no one but themselves. I altered my loyalties to avert a threat to myself and you. Jedi are not alone in seeing the future. Centuries ago, I had a vision of the Emperor destroying the galaxy. Republic, Empire, everything gone. This Jedi has the power to stop him. Extinguishing all life in every star system? No one could do that. He wields power no Jedi or Sith has dreamed of. The renewed war is merely a diversion to conceal the Emperor's designs. His true plans are already in motion across the galaxy. One by one, every star system will simply die. Trillions will perish. How does that benefit the Emperor? He'll feed on those deaths to become more powerful than all the Jedi and Sith combined. An immortal being of unlimited power. Once everyone's dead, who will he rule over? Domination holds no appeal to him. Only power. And this is not the sole galaxy in the universe. Uh oh. A thousand years ago, the Emperor tricked an entire Sith world into aiding a dark ritual. He promised great power. Only for himself, of course. The ritual consumed every living thing on the planet. He absorbed those life essences through the Force. It's kind of weird how I actually researched that a long time ago. I was gonna, I was gonna one time do a video on the Emperor, like the backstory, like you know, hit the Emperor's story. I may even still do that, to be honest. But yeah, um, I never did it. So he didn't kill all you people. Where did your empire come from? The true Sith occupied many worlds at the galaxy's edge. Losing one planet was hardly crippling. The Emperor has manipulated events for centuries towards one goal. Performing an even greater ritual that will destroy this galaxy. But the ritual requires a great sacrifice to begin. Billions of simultaneous deaths. He seeks to commit genocide on Belsavis. That prison world holds the worst filth captured by the Republic. Mass murderers, tyrants, even captured Sith Lords. We've kept the planet's location secret for decades, if the Emperor has found it. Once a sacrifice occurs, the Emperor's ritual cannot be stopped. We must save Belsavis. We? Your role in this is over, Sith. My god. You worse than me! Master Satil will determine what we do with him. Don't overstep yourself. I confess I agree with Master Caden. Leaving the Emperor's Executioner free is a terrible risk. I know the Emperor's ways. Belsavis is not the only world in danger. We must find the others, and I cannot help you from a prison cell. Like it or not, we need each other. He's right. I can feel the truth. Without his help, we are all dead. The Council will concentrate on locating other worlds at risk, and finding our missing friends. I'm counting on you to stop the Emperor's plans. We'll need all the help we can get. There's room on my ship for you. The Order needs leadership. This war is stretching us to the limit. Contact me when you reach Belsavis. And don't rely too closely on your ally. I'm disrupting the fabled Jedi calm. I suggest we depart. Scourge is now going to be my companion from here on out. For reasons that he, he would like my dark side options because when I did the light side version oh everything I did he disliked because it was all light side and you know could I be doing dark side he'll like it he'll like it so next time we've got to travel to Belsavis we are now if I remember rightly in chapter 3 I think I think we are in chapter 3 I think Belsavis is a chapter 3 planet but anyway Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. Any farewell to you.